Ladies and gentlemen, 96.4% of you are not subscribed. Make sure to subscribe and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. And today, guys, is an interesting topic that I have for you. Since you guys love my Xiao overview, I'm gonna go over a character that people are probably sleeping on. And maybe you should wake up to it too. Well, <laughs> this character you should first have the very beginning of the game. The traveler or the main character. I know, why are you even making this video, right? Uh, any other character is pretty much better than the Traveler. Who is the Traveler? Well, it's the main character of the game. She lost her brother, or he lost his sister, or whatever. You saw the beginning of the storyline. The thing that makes her or him really special is that she can use... Well, I'm gonna say she because I chose Lumine as my main character. But yeah, they can use an Enemo or a Geo in the current state of the game. That's two elements for one character. I'm assuming, and it's probably a really high probability here, that they will get all the elements by the end of the game. By the next update, the next story update, the next area of the map unlocks, which is the, um, I think it's the electricity part of the map. She's probably gonna get that. It's just gonna be insane having three elements in one character, right? Myself, I think she's the best character in the game. Not in, Maybe not in terms of damage or support, but in terms of versatility, I think she is. So what does that mean for the Traveler? Well, my opinion, it just means that she's very upgradable. Her constellations are really easy to obtain. Her skills are easy to upgrade. That's what makes her really good. For example, her Nemo skill, the Burst of Wind, is really strong, really powerful. You can upgrade it so much because of all the constellations you can get for basically free. As you play the game, you open chests, you look around the map, you go exploring, you gain Geo Sigils, you gain these Air Sigils, you can literally buy it. And in the Geo section, you can buy two constellations. It's kind of incredible. And it upgrades your talents and the skills, it's its really good. What I'm trying to say here is the reason why people don't use her is just because of all the new shiny characters, all the five stars that are coming out. Please, the Ventis, the future Zhongli, the future Zhao. It's the only reason they're not using Traveler. And it's kind of interesting to me because they want to make these team compositions and ultimate that go along with each other. And her ultimate doesn't really go along with the other properly. And I guess that's why people don't really use her or they don't think it's really important to get her leveled up and stuff like that and it's understandable people want these team compositions to go along with their ultimates and skills and it makes sense to me i think she's a double s tier character she can get all of her constellations just through the game itself she can upgrade her skills and talent without needing to roll any banner i think that's what makes her a really good character she's very versatile and her element which is not and i think that's what makes her really good well would i use her on my team 100 she's actually my most leveled character on my team. and i i don't think i'm gonna change yes i'll be having fun with other character i'll use other characters for fun but on my main team isn't that. anyways that's that's it for the video i just wanted to talk about character that everyone is sleeping on <laughs> and that's about it i hope you guys got something from this zhongli is coming soon i'm planning to overview for him i'm gonna show you guys what his skills are and what his constellations are once i can finally do that i'll get you guys the news as fast as possible thank you guys so much for watching subscribe hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye